Hello, hello, welcome back. In this one, we're going to be looking at one of my favourite tunes ever, which is Radiohead's Paranoid Androids. Now, the acoustic guitar parts in this, I've always thought were just stupidly intricate and tricky. And they are a little bit, but when you realise what Tom's doing, it is doable. And I've discovered a few things which I will share with you that'll hopefully mean that you can also play it too, right? Essentially, it's all about how he's muting the strings as he's playing, because he is just strumming away, right? So here's how the first riff goes. <laughs> Something like that. It's still rough, right? I've just learnt it. So for the first chord, that's all you're fretting, okay, with your left hand. 888 eight, eight on the E, G and B. The D can be a bit open, but the A is definitely out of play, right? And that is muted by some meat off this finger, off your second finger. And um, also, the um, top E string is muted by my little finger there. So. That's how Tom's able to just strum away. And when you watch him play this with a full band or acoustically, he's just playing like that throughout, right? Um, and it's just because he's picking out random bits. It doesn't really matter what he hits there. He's not gonna hit a bad note. The, um, you do hear that, right? So you can aim for it by playing too low and then and try to do Notice how I'm doing too low and then too high Okay, but you've just got to relax into it. Don't worry about the exact strumming pattern because that's where this song gets too confusing, I think. Then you play the same again, but you've moved your first finger down to the sixth fret. But the same note should ring out. So A should be dead still. The A, it doesn't matter if the D rings out. And also, the top E is dead there, right? The strumming pattern is almost... So aim for that roughly, right? Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. With a few little... So the first two chords, pretty straightforward, right? When you go to the third chord, right, you're putting your um, second finger on the eight, on the eighth fret on the A string, but your thumb, you'll see his thumb peek over the top, right, and all it's doing is muting the low E. Okay, so you've got like that. So your thumb comes over, and you've got to hit the eighth fret on the A string as well. And again, now the D string is actually um, covered, right, by the, some meat of the um, your second finger. So all you're hearing again is those three. That's why you can keep strumming away. So those are the first three. Then you're gonna play this, right? And it's, and I always used to struggle with this because I'd be like, oh, it's so, so accurate, isn't it? But it doesn't need to be. Then you're gonna just basically take your second finger off the, um, uh, the eighth fret there and you leave your thumb in situ, muting that E string, right?
So then you can play the open A and D. It doesn't really matter if you play them both together or... It doesn't really matter, right? So you get the same effect. And then he goes to... And again, what he's done there is he's put his first finger, not his thumb, he puts his first finger there at that point on the sixth fret, muting the A string, naturally. And then the D is ringing out. And you're only really aiming for those, those um, low four strings there, right? So again, slowly. All right, and that is it. So, again, through slowly. Two, three, four. So then you go down to the third fret and play the same shape that you did on the eighth. Same rules apply, right? You're muting the, the A string there. E string is muted too, right? So you're just hearing three, the third fret. Doesn't matter if the D's ringing out. Then you've got that, but his thumbs here at this point muting the E string, okay? And again, you're just aiming for the bottom three, really. Then first finger goes to the, um, the B flat, right, which is the first fret on the A string. But the tip of this first finger is actually muting the, the low E, right? So. And that's it. So that part slowly. So you've got one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four there, right? This bit's a little tricky because you're now muting the low two and I'm muting those with my thumb over the top for the E to mute that one. My second finger is actually muting the A string and all I'm fretting is two, three, three. Yeah, from the D string. So that's what, I mean, if you can just hit those notes. cool right but Tom doesn't he plays he frets it like that two three three then he takes his third finger off to play two two three and then he arches his first finger to um, allow the open G to sound out so then you've got two zero three there so Now you could um, mute the A string with your the tip of your first finger as well. So what I would do is I try and play this chord. So let's go through the whole thing slowly, right? that last part again. Okay, that's a bit messy at the end. And then round again. And the next section goes like this, it's very strummy. into it's just great now once you start to get it it's just brilliant fun to play so let's have a little close-up and I'll show you what's going on there with my left hand so chord voicing is the same it's a G minor 
Now you've obviously got the other two guitar parts, which you know you can hear even with Tom playing. You know they're playing all that stuff, right? So the chords are. Then back round. And this time you stay on the E. That E7 for uh, two bars, right? So what are we doing there? So it's all about the strumming as well there, right? So when you do the upstrokes, you're trying to basically pick out. Trying to pick out those notes randomly, right? Okay, so just try and a couple of low strums. And as you come back up. So get that, that strumming pattern working, and then you're going to move your first finger down to the first fret, which means Mr. A string is muted, uh, D's open, and then you've got two, three there. And this time you do want the E ringing out, okay, for these chords. Next one, nice and easy. It's just an E major with, uh, but your little finger's already on the third fret on the B, right? Then back to the G. Now I'm simplifying the strumming pattern there because, you know, you, he's just going for it, right? And you should try and do the same. Put some welly into it. Then you're into this riff. Which is awesome. So we have five, 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 three, five. And I'm playing down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. And there, the tip of my finger is muting the E string, so I can be quite loose with that, right? And when I'm playing the the A, A note, right, the fifth fret on the E, a bit of my the meat of this third finger is also muting that, so. So you can be quite aggressive with it, right? Again, these are all upstrokes, but I'm actually hitting the A string as well there, but it's not sounding out, but you get the percussive eff effect, right? And that is just what this tune is all about, right? It's about making the notes mute where you don't want them to sound out and letting them ring out where you do. Okay, so that riff is 444. Four, four. If you put a few more in on the four, no worries. Let me play it slowly for you. Passive stuff, right, going on. Next up is just some chords. It's a C 
shape. And then a sus four, so you put your little finger on the 10th fret there. So slowly. So the chords are eighth fret, fourth fret, sixth fret, okay? Same shape. But you're gonna do two down, then that's sus four, right? Down, 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 up, down. Down to the fourth fret with two up strokes. Up two frets to the sixth, and then up down. Okay, up, 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 down. Again. And at the end you play which is eight, seven, six, four. But he plays it with power chords. And then around again, right? Okay.